Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stream your Nintendo Switch gameplay directly to your PC or Android device, without using a capture card or even a Switch dock. Yep, no extra hardware needed. You'll also be able to record your gameplay straight to your computer or phone. Sounds awesome, right? Okay, without further ado, let's get started. All right, for this tutorial, we're going to use a project called SSDVR, created by Exelix11. Before we jump into the setup, let's take a quick look at what this tool offers. First of all, SysDVR allows you to stream your gameplay to a Windows, Mac OS, or Linux computer. And yes, it also works with Android. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use it on both a Windows PC and an Android device. You can stream using either Wi-Fi or a USB cable. I'll show you both methods so you can see the difference in quality and performance for yourself. Now, if you scroll down on the project page, you'll also find some technical notes about the video and audio quality. Feel free to read those on your own if you're interested. Besides its features, SysDVR also has a few limitations. First, it only works with games that support video recording, though luckily, that includes most titles. Second, it only captures game output, so you won't see anything until you actually launch a game. There are a few other limitations as well, which you can read about here. But the main thing to note is that SysDVR isn't a full replacement for a dedicated video capture device. All right, now let's get into the tutorial. First, let's download all the files we need. Head over to the releases section right here. Scroll down a bit and you'll see a list of downloadable files. Let's go through them one by one. The first one is for streaming from your Switch to an Android device. So download this if you want to use your phone. Just below that, you'll see options for PC streaming. Choose the one that matches your computer's operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I'll download the SysDVR client for Windows. Now, down here you'll see the files that need to go on your Switch's SD card. You only need to pick one. If you want your Switch to stream only via USB, download this one. But if you want to stream over both Wi-Fi and USB, choose this file instead. All right, I've already downloaded everything we need. First, let's extract the two compressed files. Once that's done, you can go ahead and delete the zip files. We won't need them anymore. Next, we're going to install the APK file on your Android device, but only if you plan to stream to Android. Now open the folder named SysDVR or SysDVR USB only, depending on which version you downloaded. We're going to copy everything inside that folder to the root directory of your Switch's SD card. So connect your SD card to your computer. You can do this by removing it from the switch and plugging it in directly, or by using the USB tools feature in Hecate, or a homebrew app, whatever works, as long as you can access the SD card from your PC. Okay, my SD card is now open. Let's copy the files. Make sure you paste them into the root directory. Don't place them inside any folders. And when you see a prompt like this, choose Replace the Files. All right, we're all set. Now we can start streaming our Nintendo Switch gameplay to either a PC or an Android device using either a USB cable or a Wi-Fi connection. Just keep in mind, the connection method depends on which version of SysDVR you downloaded. If you chose the USB-only version, then you'll only be able to stream using a USB cable. Let's try it out. First, I'll show you how to stream to a Windows PC using a USB connection. Start by connecting your Switch to your computer using a USB cable. Now back on the Switch, we need to configure SysDVR so it knows we want to use USB for streaming. If you downloaded the USB-only version, you can skip this part. This is only for those using the version that supports both USB and Wi-Fi. To do the setup, open the album to launch the Homebrew menu, then select SysDVR settings. In the settings, scroll down and choose USB. 
You'll know it's enabled when you see Enable in the top right corner. If you want this setting to be saved even after restarting your Switch, select Set Current Mode as Default on Boot. You'll see the On Boot status move to the USB option. After that, don't forget to hit Save and Exit. If your Switch crashes after saving, don't worry it's normal. Just reboot it. Now, launch the game you want to stream. Once the game is running, head over to your PC. Open the folder where you extracted the sysdvr client, then run sysdvr-client.exe if you're on Windows. For Mac OS or Linux, the file name is the same, just with a different extension. If you see a Windows protected your PC message, click More Info, then run Anyway. Wait a moment for the sysdvr client window to open. This is the main interface. Before you can stream, you'll need to install the USB driver. Click the Install button, and the app will guide you through downloading and installing the driver. Once that's done, click Go Back. Now here you'll see a few options. You can stream just the video, just the audio, or both. I'm going to select both. Below that is the Settings button. Here you can configure a few things like where to save recordings and screenshots. Feel free to explore these settings and tweak them as needed. I'll leave everything at default for now. If you make any changes, don't forget to click Save Changes. Back on the main screen, let's start streaming. Since we're using a USB connection, click on USB mode. Make sure your game is already running on the Switch. You should now see a list of detected Switch devices connected to your PC. Click on the one you want to use to begin streaming. And there it is, the game's home screen is now displayed on your PC. Let's try playing a bit. As you can see, the video is smooth and the audio is coming through clearly with no stutters or lag. To start recording your gameplay, just click anywhere on the stream window or press any key on your keyboard. A menu will pop up here. You'll find several options. To begin recording, click Start Recording. Let's record a few seconds of gameplay. All right, that should be enough. Open the menu again and click Stop Recording. Your video file will be saved to the Videos folder or wherever you set the recording location in the settings. And that's it for USB streaming to PC. Now let's try streaming to an Android device, also using a USB connection. After that, we'll test out Wi-Fi streaming too. All right, I just realized I don't have a mail-to-mail -mail mini USB cable. So for now, we're going to stream to Android using a Wi-Fi connection. First, make sure both your Android device and your Switch are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In this example, my Android phone is already connected to a Wi-Fi network named Test. Now, launch the SysDVR client app on Android. You'll notice the interface looks the same as the one on the PC version. Next, let's connect the Switch to the same Wi-Fi network. Once that's done, open SysDVR settings on the Switch and switch the streaming mode from USB to TCP Bridge, since we'll be using Wi-Fi. You can also try simple network mode later. We'll test that in a bit too. Now, launch the game you want to stream. On the SysDVR app on Android, choose network mode to start streaming. You should now see a list of connected Switch devices on the same network, along with their IP addresses. Just tap on your Switch to start streaming. As you can see, the main menu of the game appears on the Android screen. This means the stream is working. Let's try playing the game. You'll notice there's some lag on Android. That's expected, as streaming over Wi-Fi isn't as smooth as using a USB cable. 
To start recording, just tap the screen. This will bring up the same menu as in the PC version. And from there, you can start or stop recording. Now let's try the simple network mode. With this mode, you don't need the SysDVR client app. Instead, you can use any video player that supports streaming. VLC is a good example. I already have VLC installed on my computer, so we'll use it to test this mode. You can also try it on Android, but you'll need to install the VLC app first. Before we continue, make sure your Switch and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then, on the Switch, go to SysDVR settings and select Simple Network Mode. You'll see a stream URL that starts with RTSP followed by the Switch's IP address and port. We'll use this URL in VLC. Click Save and Exit, then launch the game you want to stream. Now on your computer, open VLC. Go to the Media menu and choose Open Network Stream. In the Network URL field, enter the RTSP address shown earlier on your Switch. Then click Play. As you can see, the game screen is now displayed in VLC. Let's try playing the game. Again, you'll notice there's a bit of lag in the video. So in conclusion, streaming via USB gives the most stable video and audio quality, while streaming over Wi-Fi, whether using the Android app or VLC, is functional, but comes with some noticeable lag. And that wraps up our tutorial on how to stream Nintendo Switch gameplay to both your PC and Android device using SysDVR. Whether you're using a USB cable for the most stable experience or connecting over Wi-Fi for more flexibility, now you know how to set everything up and even record your gameplay. I hope this guide helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.